Father, Heavenly Father, we are grateful for tonight. We worship you, Adonai. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you for your mercies that endure forever. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for preservation of life. Be exalted, be exalted, be magnified. We thank you, we bless you, we honor you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be lifted on high. You are worthy of all glory, all honor, all adoration. Heavenly Father, we love you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Oh, we lay our lives at your feet this morning. We give you thanks and praise. We honor you. We bless you. Awesome is your name. Great and greatly to be praised is your name. We worship you in the beauty of holiness. We worship you, Lord. You are worthy of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening, Abba, brethren. Abba, we want to thank God tonight who has preserved our lives. This is the 30th day of April 2022. That means four months have gone in this new year of 2022. And our God has been faithful. He has preserved us. He has protected us. He is great and greatly to be praised. I want us to thank him tonight for the gift of life. I want us to thank him for his mercies that endure it forever. Let's lift up our voices and begin to thank him. Let's praise his name. The Bible says in Psalm 34 from verse 1, I will praise the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. Bless his name tonight. We praise you, O God. Your praise will always be on our lips. We will boast in the Lord. The humble will hear and be glad. We proclaim Yahweh's greatness with us. We exalt his name together. We thank him. We bless him. We exalt exalt his name. Our God has been faithful. Our God has been great and greatly to be praised. Our God has been good. We can see his mercies. We can see his grace. We can see his goodness. Oh, we thank you, Father. Thank you for this year, 2022. From January up to now, oh God, your grace has preserved us. Your mercy has preserved us. Your power has preserved us. Your protection has been with us, oh God. We don't take it for granted. We bless your name, O God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Bible goes on to say in Psalm 34 from verse 4, it says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant with joy. Their faces will never be ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him from all his troubles. I want us to thank the Lord for answered prayers, for the times when you've lifted up your voice unto the Lord and the Lord answered us. He answered you. He answered me. He delivered us from all our fears. He says when we look to him, we are radiant with joy. Our faces will never be ashamed. This poor man cried. This poor woman cried. And the Lord heard us and saved us from all our troubles. Let's thank him tonight. Our God is a prayer answering God. If you should count how many times you have prayed even in this year, you will see that there have been many petitions. There have been many supplications. There have been many requests. There have been many urgent prayers. And God answered us. He showed us his mercy. He showed us his goodness. He showed us his grace. We are grateful, Lord, that when we cry, Lord, you heard us, oh God. When we cried out, to you, Lord. You heard us, oh God, and you delivered us. You saved us from all of our troubles. You do great things, oh God. You do marvelous things, oh God. We worship you, Adonai. We bless your name in the name of Jesus. Be exalted, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And then the Bible goes on to say in that Psalm 34 verse 7, it says, The angel of the Lord 
And we know the angel of the Lord, capital letter A, is referring to the pre-incarnate Jesus. It's Jesus. It says the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he rescues them. I want us to thank the Lord that Lord in this month of April, you have protected me. There have been many opportunities for accidental death, for injuries, for all kinds of calamities. But your mercy, Lord, has preserved us. Thank you that the angel of the Lord encamps around us. We have never been left to our own devices. Let's begin to thank him that, oh God, we can look at our lives and see your rescue. The angel of the Lord indeed encamps around those who fear the Lord. Thank you for dispatching angelic messengers to encamp around us. In this month of April, oh God, we thank you, mighty Father, for the presence of the Lord that has been with us. For your presence has been our defense. Your presence has been our divine protection. Your presence has been a wall, a shield around us. We thank you. Your name is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. We thank you for saving us. We thank you for protecting us. We thank you for keeping us. Oh, we worship you. We exalt your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In in Jesus mighty name we pray amen he says in Psalm 34 we are still thanking the Lord in verses 8 to 10 it says taste and see that the Lord is good I'm sure in the month of April you have had an opportunity to taste and see that the Lord is good you have had ex- an experiential knowledge of the Lord you've been able to experience him and say God, the Lord is good he says how happy is the man who takes refuge in him you who are his holy ones fear Yahweh for those who fear him lack nothing young lions lack food and go hungry but those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing I want us to thank him tonight uh, that Lord I want to thank you that I have tasted and I've seen that you are God Jaira, thank you, the great provider. We worship you, oh great provider. We thank you tonight, uh, Lord. Thank you that those who trust in you, those who fear you, Lord, uh, they will never lack any good thing. Uh, you are worthy to be praised, uh, you are worthy to be exalted, uh, you are worthy to be magnified. Uh, we thank you for provision in the month of April. We thank you, Lord, uh, that we've had a roof over our heads, uh, we've had food on our table, we've had clothes on our backs. Uh, it is all to your glory. Glory, Lord. It is all to your honor, Lord. Oh, we worship you. We exalt your name, Adoda. We praise you. We honor you. We adore you. Be exalted. Be exalted. Be exalted. Oh, Riakado so preke de lebasia. Maliakado lobado so preke de lebosia. Maso preke de de preke de lebosia. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in James chapter 1, from verse 19, it says, My dearly beloved brothers, understand this. Everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. For man's anger does not accomplish God's righteousness. Therefore, reading yourselves of all moral filth and evil, humbly receive the implanted word.
in the name of Jesus. Father, we are asking tonight, uh, let the blood of Jesus cleanse us uh, from every moral filth. Uh, whatever is not of you, oh God, uh, whatever is contrary to your goodness, uh, contrary to your truth, uh, contrary to your righteousness, uh, Lord, we read ourselves of it tonight. Uh, wash us by the washing of the water by the word. Uh, cleanse us of every form of unrighteousness. Uh, purify us, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, wherever, Lord, uh, we've been slow to hear, where we've been quick to speak, uh, and we've been quick to anger. We ask for mercy, Lord. Cleanse us in the name of Jesus. Where, Lord God Almighty, we have not, oh God, uh, behave the way you would expect us to behave. Uh, we ask for mercy, Lord. Uh, we pray. Let every form of moral filth uh, be removed from our lives uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, cleanse us, dear God. Uh, cleanse us, Almighty Father. Wash us whiter than snow. Purify our hearts. Uh, we know, Lord, uh, that you said in 1 John 1 9, uh, if we confess our sins, uh, you are faithful and just to forgive us uh, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We are asking tonight, Lord, uh, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Uh, wash us, O God. Le bragado sofre de se vacuza balada. Le gado sofre de le bocora bababa. Meze que de de brege de le bosia. I gado lo borro coco co sofre de le basia. Meria handa la brado sofre de le bosia. Ma co sombra da la balabasia. Le vrada se kende le baro godosia. Ma su tende le barabosia. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Lord. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for cleansing us, Lord, of every form of unrighteousness. We worship you. We honor you. We exalt your name in the name. that washes whiter than snow. Thank you for the blood that is able to cleanse us, that is able to purify us, that is able to purge us from every form of unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Bible tells us in Revelation 12 verse 10 about the accuser of the brethren who accuses before our God day and night. And he says in Revelation 12, 11, that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. I want us to pray that Lord, is there any accusation that would stand against me as I enter the month of May? Any accusation that would render me disqualified for your goodness in May, for your favor in May, for your grace in May, whatever would stand against the mercy of God, whatever would stand against the, the will of God for the month of May. I plead the blood of Jesus and overturn every accusation by the blood of Jesus. Let the blood begin to testify for us. Let's begin to plead the blood. Let the blood speak over us. Let it testify over our lives, over our families, over our children, over our spouses, over everyone connected to us. Let the blood speak any accusations that are being rendered against us in the courts of heaven. Any accusation that would speak speak against us, uh, that would speak against the blessing of God uh, in the month of May. Any accusation that would speak against the will of God uh, in the month of May. Any accusation uh, that would disqualify us uh, from the blessing of the Lord uh, in the month of May. We plead the blood of Jesus. Uh, we overcome uh, by the blood of the Lamb uh, and by the word of our testimony. We testify tonight uh, that the blood of Jesus uh, has washed us, uh, has perfected us, uh, has purified us, uh, that we are justified freely by faith uh, through the finished work of the cross uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, therefore, let every accusation be silenced. Uh, every accusation uh, in the heavenlies, uh, in the spirit realm, uh, let the blood of Jesus speak for us. Uh, let the blood of Jesus cleanse us. Uh, let the blood of Jesus sanctify us uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. When the Lord Jesus was teaching us how to pray, he said, we should ask God and say in Luke 11 verse 4, he said, we should ask God and forgive us our sins for we ourselves also forgive everyone in debt to us and do not bring us into temptation. Let's begin to pray this night that Father, even as we receive forgiveness from you, we also release any man, any woman, anyone who's offended us. We let go of offense. We let it go, Lord. We 
don't want to carry any offense in the month of May. Whatever, Lord, would stand against uh, a pure heart uh, in the month of May, we let it go. We release them in the name of Jesus. Uh, we release, oh God, uh, every offense uh, by the Lord God Almighty doesn't look like you. We plead the blood. We plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus. Lord, we forgive those that we ought to forgive. We release those that we ought to release. In the name of Jesus. Maria Kazuva Kazabalada. By the blood of Jesus. Oh Riaba Kosa Balada. Miria Kazuva de Leba Kosa Balada. Leba Kusa Balagada. In the name of Jesus. Father, we exalt your name. Oh Lord. We glorify your name. We worship you by the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the testimony of the blood. Thank you for the blood that is speaking over us. Thank you for the blood that will never lose its power. Thank you for the blood of sprinkling us. The blood, the blood, the blood. Amen. We have thanked God about what he's done for us so far and now we are praying concerning our month to come. The Bible says in Psalm 3, Psalm 3, it says, but thou, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is on thy people. Let us pray that as we go into the month of May. Lord God, you are my shield and you are my glory and the lifter of my head. Let's begin to declare it. Lord, according to your word, in Psalm 3 verse 3, I thank you that as I enter the month of May, you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. You protect me. You defend me. You fight for me. You are fighting my battles. You are my glory and you are the lifter of my head. As I enter the month of May, the Lord is lifting my head. The Lord is encamping around me. His glory is around me. His glory is around my household. His glory is around my family. His glory is around my seed, my children. His glory is around the, the ministry, the business, whatever God has given to us. His glory is around us. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O God. Oh, we bless you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. The Bible says this. It says, I laid me down and slept and I awaked for the Lord sustained me. You're going to prophesy into the month of May. Do you know what? You're not going to die. And you'll not die in your sleep. None of your children will die. Your spouse will not die. Your brothers and sisters will not die. You're going to declare it and say, in the month of May, I will lie down and sleep in safety. I will wake up in safety. The Lord shall sustain me in the month of May. In the name of Jesus, nothing will trouble my life. By the power in the name of Jesus, I speak over the month of May. I will be able to sleep in peace and wake up in peace. All the 31 days of the month of May 2022. I will lie down in peace and I will wake up in peace. No power of darkness will interfere with my peace. I will dwell in shalom, shalom. In the name of Jesus. You will sleep in peace. You will wake up in peace. You will not sleep for nightmares. You will not sleep for the enemy to be chasing you in your dreams. You will not sleep for the enemy to be planting evil in your life, but you will lay down in peace and you will awaken peace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, the Lord will sustain us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. He went on to say, I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people that's 
you know, set themselves against me because the Lord shall arise on my behalf. I want you to pray. You know, sometimes the enemy is good at giving us fear in advance so that as you enter the month, you begin to worry. You begin to fear. What if, what if we reject every what if I want you to take authority over any spirit of fear, anything that will cause you not to be excited in the month of May, anything that would want to steal your faith. You are taking authority over it and say, I rebuke fear. I rebuke every negative emotion. I rebuke anything that would contend against my faith in the month of May. In the name of Jesus, I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. I will not fear. You will not fear. You will not be afraid of lack. You will not be afraid of sickness. You will not be afraid of the enemy's powers. You will not be afraid of their schemes. You will not be afraid of anything. In the month of May, we take authority over the spirit of fear, over every demonic power that would want to arrest your faith. We rebuke them in the name of Jesus. For the Lord will arise on your behalf. You will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. I will we will not be afraid. I rebuke fear. I rebuke fear. I rebuke fear. I rebuke fear. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Oh, we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We're going to speak to the gates of the month of May. Speak to the gates of the month of May. The Bible tells us that there was a day in Genesis 18 from verse 1 that the Lord appeared to Abram in the plains of Mamre. He sat in the tent door and when he lifted up his eyes and looked, he saw three men who stood by him. And you know what? Those three men were the Lord himself. And you, you know, by the time the Lord had visited his house, we know that the covenant of life was renewed and the blessing of the Lord was renewed. And it was that a year after Sarah gave birth to Isaac, she was able to laugh a laugh that she couldn't laugh before because she had a divine visitation. I want you to ask the Lord, Lord, in this month of May, just like you visited Abraham and he experienced a divine turnaround. I am asking that in this fifth month of the year, Lord, that you would visit me because Lord, when you visit me, I cannot remain the same. I am asking for an encounter with your holy presence. I am asking for an encounter with your glory. I am asking for an encounter with your goodness. Lord, visit me, I ask, in the month of May, just like Abraham sat down one day and he had an encounter with you, O God. Lord, we pray for a divine visitation, O God. Lord, we pray for a divine visitation, O God. 
bosia o riagado sopre che delle bosia ragado sopre che tu la barragada livrado so coria baba 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 i cantele balagado soto levrado sopre che delle bosia meri handa la bado so condoria baba baba i cantu la barabo so tondo lobo mese che te yaba in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray amen the bible tells us about the journey of jacob how that in Genesis 31, there was a day that Jacob had an encounter with the Lord. The Bible says, as he went on his way in, in chapter 2, verse 1, the angels of God met with him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, this is nothing but the camp of God, is the angelic host of God. And he called the name of the place Mahanaim, the camp of God. This, this was how he entered the territory when he was about to go and reconcile with his brother Esau. Angels met him on the way. I want you to ask God tonight and say, Lord, as I'm journeying and I'm about to enter this month of May, just like Jacob, may I be met by the host of heaven. May there be angelic escorts into the month of May and throughout the month of May, Jacob went on his way and the angels of the Lord met with him and favor was released upon him. So that when he went to meet Esau, Esau did not want to kill him anymore. Esau did not want to destroy him anymore. Because Jacob was being accompanied by angelic armies, by the host of the Lord. Lord, as we enter the month of May, we are asking for angelic armies to meet us right at the gate. And let the angel armies escort us through the month of May. In the name of Jesus, let there be angel armies meeting with us. Just like they met with Jacob in Genesis 32 from verse 1, uh, we are asking, oh God, uh, that throughout the month of May, uh, we dwell in the camp of God. Uh, may we enter a spiritual Mahanaim, uh, a place where your glory dwells, uh, a place where angels ascend and descend, uh, a place where your angel armies uh, encamp around us, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let the angels of the Lord meet with us uh, at the gates of May 2022. Uh, let the angel armies, uh, let them meet with you. Let them encounter you. Ikaluba sokodolia baba baba. Regaduska balegadosia. Mazutendere brado sokodorobo. May you be escorted uh, by angel armies uh, throughout the month of May. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, we thank you. Ribabu zavakaza balaba. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are still speaking into the month. The Bible says in Psalm 29 concerning the voice of the Lord. It says the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. The voice of the Lord is able to shake the wilderness. It shakes the wilderness. Let us ask God. Lord, as I enter this month of May, may your voice that is full of power, that is full of majesty, be heard throughout that month. May your voice begin to shake the wilderness. Is there any wilderness that is waiting for me in May? May the voice of the Lord shake that wilderness so that by the time I get there, there is fruitfulness. Is there any stubborn problem like the cedars? As I get to May, let the voice of the Lord begin to shake that cedar and break it to pieces. Whatever it is, I ask Oh Lord, may your voice begin to sound in the month of May. The voice of the Lord that is powerful. The voice of the Lord that is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord that is full of awesome glory. May your voice be heard in the month of May. May the voice of the Lord silence any evil voice, any contrary voice. Are there any voices that have released curses into your month of May? May the voice of the Lord revoke the curse. May the voice of the Lord cancel the curse. Is there any enchantment, uh, any divination, uh, any incantation, uh, any vex, uh, any hex, uh, any spell uh, that has been spoken uh, into the month of May. Uh, may the voice of the Lord undo what the enemy has done. Uh, may the voice of the Lord undo uh, the decrees of wickedness. Uh, may the voice of the Lord undo uh, what the enemy has spoken uh, into the month of May. Uh, may the voice of the Lord shake it off. Uh, may the voice of the Lord shake it off. Uh, may the voice of the Lord revoke it. 
Kita, Mere Kekeke Bo Rakata, Zum Brekate de Brekate Lebosia, Maria Handa, Maria Hande, Maria Gados of Akusa Balagadala, Le Gados of Brekate Lebosia, Makwate de Brada Dada Daba Sekete, May the voice of the Lord, May the voice of the Lord overturn, 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 overturn evil decrees, evil pronouncements. May the voice of the Lord be heard in the month of May. Regada da 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 ba sekete de ba 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 ba. Le gado so brekete le bosia. Maria gado so brekete le bosia. Le mbalu gado so brekete le bosia. Mazoko do do brekete le bosia. Let your voice, O oh God, silence every other voice, any voice that is speaking in the month of O oh God, May Let that voice be silenced. Let that voice be overthrown. Let that voice be rebuked. Ele basuta la bara boshanda. Shake them out, O oh God. Shake them out. Mele kende le barabasia. Maso prekete le boko rabasia. Le vrado so prekete le bosia. Merika do so prekete le bosia. Mazo vrado so prekete le bobo. Maria gado so prekete le bosia. Javrado so prekete le boko rabasia. Le prekete te prekete le bosia. Maroko koko koko roko do. Ze prekete te prekete le bobo bobo. Masa kante le brado sia. Maso kondore robo shaya. Javrado skaba legadata. Ikadula bayanda. Every day lota. Let your voice voice be heard in each of the 31 days of May. Ika tula ba seke tele bosia. Ma kosam prakata la bosia. Ma seke ndele boroborobo. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. In the book of Esther, we learn that their enemy, Haman, had plotted against them and even managed to get a decree from the king to be written against them. But the Bible tells us that on that very day, that Haman, we know he didn't just choose that day. He didn't just choose that day. Haman chose that day through divination. The enemy's agents must have done something in the realm of the spirit to divine, which is the day which will cause them the most damage. And they picked a day. And the Bible tells us in, 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 in Esther chapter 9 that on the 13th day of the month of Adar, on the 14th day of the same day that Haman had decided that they were going to be destroyed, the Bible says on the same day, he decided they'll be destroyed on the same day. The people of Israel, the Jewish children, they enjoyed victory over their enemy. That day he had plotted as the day of their downfall became the day of joy. I want us to pray this hour that every evil decree that has been decreed into our month of May to decide pain for you, to decide sorrow for you, to de decide embarrassment, demotion, exploitation and death, that God every such day will be turned around into a day of victory and celebration in the name of Jesus. Just like the Lord did it for his children in the days of Esther, let it come to pass in the month of May, in the name of Jesus, every decree of pain, decree of sorrow, decree of disease, decree of affliction, may it be overturned, in the name of Jesus, every evil device, every evil decree, every evil plot that has been plotted against you to consume you in the month of May, may there be a divine turnaround, in the name of Jesus, Mareke keke borro kodo sopre de livra do sopre kete lebosia oria gadasia. May there be a turnaround. May there be a turnaround. May there be a turnaround. Me lega do sova kasaba uria ba 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 livra do sopre kete. May it be the day of victory. May it be the day of overflow. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Whatever Satan meant to come against the kingdom of God, it will return on his own kingdom. It will destroy his own kingdom. Esther chapter 9 verses 24 and 25. The Bible says, Because Haman, the son of Hamedatha, the Agagite, the enemy of all the Jews, had devised against the Jews to destroy them and had cast per, that is the lot, to consume them and to destroy them. But when Esther came before the king, he commanded by letters that his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, should return upon his own head. 
and that he and his sons should be hanged on the gallows. You're going to ask that father, whatever devil meant against the church in the month of May, may it return on his own kingdom, but let the church of Jesus march forward. Let us, your children, oh God, may we work greater and greater. May we increase on every side. May every side of us be lifted. In this month of May, every device of evil, that the weapons that were designed to bring pain, to bring affliction, to bring sorrow, to bring any kind of anomaly, may those weapons return on the head of the enemy. May they attack his own kingdom. May he destroy his own kingdom. May the church of Jesus march on. May the church of Jesus be increased. May the church of Jesus be enlarged. May every child of God enjoy victory, unprecedented victory, uncommon victory. Let every handwriting of evil be overturned. Where pain was plotted, let there be joy, let there be enjoyment, let there be abundance, let there be promotion, let there be increase, let there be expansion, let there be comfort on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. For I read it. So it was whenever Israel so soon, Midianites will come up and the Amalekites and the people of the east will come up against them. Verse 4. Then they would encamp against them, destroy their produce on the earth as far as Gaza and leave no substance for Israel, neither sheep nor ox, nor donkey. Anytime the children of Israel, they sow, anytime they do something, anytime they plant, that these people, as soon as they are about to reap what they have planted, these people will come. There is something called the spirit of Midianites. The spirit that said that you will not reap what you have sown. The spirit that said that when you sow, he will scatter. It is a spirit that scatters. It is a spirit that destroys. I want us to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the month of May that we are about to enter in the next eight minutes. In the name of Jesus, every form of spirit of media night in my life that scatters my income, that scatters my resources, that scatters my planting, that scatters my seed. Anything I do, they scatter it. They don't allow it to bring forth fruit and when it brings forth fruit, they don't allow me to take the fruit, to enjoy the fruit of my labor. Tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, this minute in the month of May, we scatter. Let us take authority. Take authority every form of spirit of midnight in my life. Every spirit of midnight at work in my life. Every spirit of midnight at work in my ministry. Every spirit of midnight that is that is a worker in the things I do. Every spirit of midnight that tend to scatter is a waster, is a scatterer. It destroys your fruit. It destroys your fruit. It will not let you to, to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Every spirit of Midianite, we take authority over you. In the month of May, you will not prosper. In the month of May, you will not prosper in our life. In the rest of this year, you will not prosper in our lives. In the name of Jesus, seven of that same scripture, Judges chapter 6, verse 7 said, and it came to pass when the children of Israel cried out to the Lord because of the Midianite. They cried out to the Lord because of the Midianite. Tonight I want us to cry that instead of scattering that you, all the fruit you will bear, all the fruit the Lord will give you the ability to bear will be fruitful and it will bear great fruit and you will enjoy your fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. That hand that destroyed and scattered your fruit, that hand that make sure that you don't, you don't enjoy the fruit of your labor, tonight we cry unto the Lord. That hand is withered in the name of Jesus Christ. Those hands are withered in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not prevail. Just begin to declare. Those hands are withered. We cry unto the Lord tonight for the month of May, for the month of June, 
for the rest of this year. Spirit of Midianite, your hands are withered over us. We cry unto the Lord. The Bible said when they cried unto the Lord, something happened. The Lord sent the prophet to them. Father, tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, as we cry upon you all to you, O God, that every form of Midianite is seized in our life. Father, send help us on our way. Send help us on our way. In the name of Jesus. In verse 8 of that scripture, the Bible said that the Lord sent prophets to them. The Lord sent prophets to them. Prophet is like a representative of God who come to stand between man and God and help man to prosper and move to the next level. And let us pray, oh God, in the month of May and the rest of this year, that the Lord will send you help us, help us of destiny, help us in whatever area you need help. Help us will come in the name of Jesus. Help in every form and shape. In the name of Jesus, as you have cried this night, oh God, Lord, help is coming. Help is coming for you, sister. Help is coming for you, brother. Help is coming for you in your home, in your families, in your career, in your business. Wherever you do, help is coming. Because the Lord is sending us help. In the name of Jesus. That in the month of May, oh God, as we step into the month of May, oh God, we ask Lord for your help. Help us in every area. In the name of Jesus, help us in our health, help us in our ministry, help us in our homes, help us in our businesses, help us in every area. Receive help today. I don't know the area you need help, but as you cry tonight, as we step into the month of May, help is coming your way in the name of Jesus. Lick up some scripture we are reading from Judges 6. Verse 16 said, And the Lord said to him, Surely I will be with you. And you shall defeat the Midianites as one man. The Lord said to them when they have cried and the Lord sent helper, the Lord said, I will be with you. I want us to pray that in every day, in every week, in the month of May and the rest of the year, the Lord will be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I will be with you. He's talking about the children of Israel. He said, I will be with you and you shall defeat all your enemies. I want us to lift up our voices. In the rest of the days and the weeks in the month of May and even to the end of the year, the Lord will be with you and he will give you strength to overcome all difficulties, all your enemies, wherever they are, physical or spiritual. The God will give you ability to overcome them in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voices and pray. The Lord will go with me. The Lord will go with me in every day in the month of May. The Lord will walk with me. The Lord will be with you in the name of Jesus because he declared in his word I will not leave you nor forsake you but I will be with you in all your ways. He said in Psalm 91 I will give his angels charge over thee. They will bear you in your hands lest they dash a field against the stone. Father we thank you tonight in the name of Jesus that every day in the month of May Lord you be with us you will give us ability to overcome you, be, you give us ability to overcome in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I pray tonight oh God the month of May oh God you will go with us you will be with us in the name of Jesus, you will not be lonely. The Spirit of God will be with you. He will walk with us through all the days, through all the minutes and through all the hours, through all the days and the weeks. The Lord, you are walking with us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.